I want to talk about some of the exercises that people love to do but oftentimes do incorrectly and they don't get the most benefit that they can out of each exercise. One of the main components of Pilates is control. Learning how to control your body. The mind guides the body. And when you do your roll up, after you do your hundreds in the mat work, a lot of times people will throw their arms up and use momentum to stretch over towards their legs instead of control. If you can't do your roll up without using momentum, then try bending your knees a little bit and putting your hands in the back of your legs and walking your hands up your legs to bring your body up. Another exercise that people love to do is the crisscross, and it's a great tummy flattener, but people don't oftentimes take advantage of doing full range of motion because they don't understand this movement. They think just taking the elbow to the knee is enough, when actually you have to move from your waist and your arms kind of follow your waist to do the exercise, and you must do it a little bit slower and more controlled, and keep your tummy pulled in. People are so concerned about the thighs, the buttocks, and the inner thighs. And there's a great series of exercises in the mat work called the Sidekick Series, which are wonderful for the butt and the thighs and the inner thighs. But if you don't control your torso while you're doing these exercises, you're not going to get the same benefit out of this work. Because what you're doing is you're isolating the leg in the hip socket. And if you move your upper body too much, there's no isolation. So pull your tummy in really hard to support your body, keep your body very quiet, very still, and just let the leg move, almost like a pendulum, back and forth and up and down, and see what the difference is. You'll see a difference right away.